Hey guys, it's John from Walkthrough Code. So in this video, we are going to get a full stack uh, React app going and we're going to use Parcel in the client uh, to bundle all the files together. Parcel.js is this new bundler thing. This is Parcel. It's, it's very similar to Webpack. It's not, it's not nearly as big. It's brand new to the game, but it's definitely from what I've been seeing, it's kind of the new hotness. Um, so I've been kind of trying it out myself, and from like from immediate impressions, um, I'm really impressed. Um, it's it's very cool, and it's extremely easy to set up. The Webpack configuration, while it's very very detailed, is is complicated to say the very least. So this is kind of a breath of fresh air. Um, and so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new public folder. We're going to call it public parcel. And in this parcel, we are going to um, we're going to create two new files. We're going to say index.html, and we're going to create another one index.js. Uh, the reason why this is orange is because I just created this and deleted it again, so they're not green, which is explanation for that. But anyway, um, I also need to um, I need to cd into here, and I need to create an NP uh, package JSON, so I'm going to say npm init-y just to get one. Um, and then now I'm going to install a few things. Um, a couple that are um, dev depend or a few that are dev dependencies and a couple that are regular dependencies. So I'm going to say npm install dash dash save react and react dom. Um, that'll take a second to install, and then we'll install the dev dependencies. We'll say npm install dash dash save dev. Uh, and we're going to say babel preset inv babel preset react in parcel bundler. So while that's being installed, I'm going to, uh, you have to globally install the parcel bundler. Um, I know that's a downside for some people. I'm I'm not too against it. I haven't. It hasn't caused any issues for me, so I'm not I'm not a huge against it. Um, so I'm going to say sudo npm install dash g parcel uh, bundler bundler. So that's gonna install here. Um, cool. So. Those are not quite done yet. They'll be done in a second. Um, what else can we do? So let's go into index.html. We're going to say HTML. Uh, blah. No, we don't want those to be tags. Then we're going to create our div with an ID of app because that's just the token for React. Um, we could have an ID of anything for that matter. It doesn't really matter. Um, this is just the way they do it. I'm going to have a script tag for that index.js file that we uh, index.js that we created, um, and then we also need a Babel RC file, um, and that's to tell. Um, that's to tell Parcel how to handle um, handle the the ES6. So we're gonna say dot babel RC. We're just gonna paste this in here. This is all all of this is in the documentation under recipes. Um, I'll put this link in the description below, but um, yeah, all the stuff that we're doing here is is here. Um, the other thing that we need to do, we're actually going to do two things. We're going to add another script really quick. Script, add a script. Uh, start 
and we're going to say parcel index.html, which is going is basically the entry point. And we're going to have another one for build. And this build is going to be parcel build uh, index.html, which is kind of weird because the thought of building an HTML file is, is a little weird. If you don't include it, though, it won't include the HTML file, and then you're up, up a creek. Um, so we're going to say dash dash, uh, don't mind me, production public URL, dash dash public URL, and we're going to say dot slash. So we want everything to be relative to the immediate directory. Um, and I think that's all we have to do for that. And you'll see why I do that here in a minute. Um, let's go into index.js, throw something really fast together for React. So we'll say import React from, I do that every time, from React, uh, import React DOM from React DOM. Then we're going to say uh, React DOM dot render, and then we're going to have an h1 that says hello world, h1, and then we're going to have our, uh, basically our hook for where it's going to attach in the DOM, which is going to be document dot get element element by ID, and it's going to be app because we created, we created something, uh, a div called app. Okay. Did I forget anything? Um, so that'll work for that server. Yes, OK. The other thing that we need to do is we need to serve this directory. So we're going to say uncomment for React and parcel. So we're going to say, I'm just going to copy this and change it. So we're going to say public. Uh, parcel, and this by default it comes out to dist. You could change that if you want, but I'm just going to leave it to dist. Um, and then it'll throw an argument at us if we're missing anything else. Um, so note that I'm in the public parcel directory. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you more or less how this works, and then we'll try building it and serving it with the server. So to normally to get this started, all we need to do is say parcel index.html, and that'll bundle everything up, and it'll serve on localhost 1234. So let's go. And so that works just fine. If we go over to index.js and we say hello world, now that works. And notice the hot, mod, hot, mod, uh, hot module reloading, which is really, really cool. Um, but I actually want to serve this with 8,000 with my server. So what I have to do is I have to say npm run build, um, which is going to run this here. And what this is going to do is this is going to um, basically make this go away. Because the problem is, is that this index.html is talking about something that is within this folder. And I know this normally says the root directory, but for whatever reason, it's, it was, has not been working for me. Um, so what I have to do is I have to change, oh, where's package? I have to change the, the starting URL or where it's, where it's relative to. And that seems to work. So I'm going to run npm run build. So it's going to build all the files here. And then I'm going to run node mon to get our server started. Oh, what? Oh, maybe I have something else. Oh, 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 oh. I still have my other server running. Let's not do that. So we'll get this one up and running, sweet. Um, 
and then so that's built so if we go into index we notice that it's all minified and stuff if I actually go in and take a look at it it's serving the proper directory now um, so if we go to localhost 8000 there we go um, if you want to if you want to dev on top of this, you can actually um, you can actually run npm start or parcel index.html. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. Um, and then I'm pretty sure you should just be able to. Maybe that just broke it. What just happened? Did this just break it? Okay. All right. Well, so it, it does work. It's just it's weird on how it needs to configure itself, but that's fine. Okay, anyway, um, so that's that's a weird ending to the video, but it does actually work. Um, I will push all of this to GitHub, and if you have any questions for me, totally leave them in the comment section below. Um, I always appreciate likes and subscribes. It motivates me to create more videos for you guys, since I know um, we all need a little help. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. Thanks again and have a have a great day.